Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV with Mimioni. This time we're looking at some items that unfortunately I'd missed off the list of housing stuff that was added in patch 5.58. As you can probably tell, I've been quite busy, but I do get through this stuff regardless and uh, better late than never really especially before we get some new stuff going into the future. It's about time we finish off some of this. So two items today. Uh, in particular, I want to look at the Mog Bureau and the Cacern Shelf. Uh, these are two items added in 5.55 and are both recipes for your carpentry at level 80. If you look at the recipes on here, I didn't need to do these. It was very uh, inexpensive, so I didn't end up crafting them myself. But if you did, it's only an 1866 recommended for the Cacern Shelf, for example, with eight Lignum Vitae Lumber, two Dwarven Cotton Thread, one exe uh, Exquisite Buttons, rather, and three Varnish. And the Mogboro in particular is six Lignum Vitae Lumber, one Ink and Quill item, which you can also get, uh, three rubber and three snow white dye. So this is what basically I've created today these two To show these items off then let's have a look at my apartment I've redecorated this in the style of um, sort of Moogle themed stuff. I thought that would be a nice way of demonstrating it So this is what my apartment looks like at the moment in uh, in the mist just lots of Moogle themed items we've seen in the past lots of lovely items I think you'll agree and you can really put together quite a nice Moogle themed uh, space now in your in your housing so hopefully this Mogboro will fit in perfectly so let's have a look at that it says a writing table with storage designed in a Moogle motif do not attempt to remove the pom-pom <laughs> heaven forbid who knows what would happen if you remove that Maybe it's like Charmander, if you put out the flame it dies. Maybe if, if you remove a Moogle's palm, they die. I don't even want to think about that. That's pretty grim, actually, at the end of the day. So this is what it looks like then. This is really quite nice, isn't it? Quite cute. I do like this. So let's uh, first person this and rotate it around. I love the little Moogle ears. I love the pom pom at the back there. This is something that somebody might create in real life, actually, as like a carpenter product, uh, project in real life. I like the little whiskers on the side of your bureau there. It's quite a nice item, isn't it? Oh, and I didn't realize that. It has the Moogle wings at the back, like the little bat wings on the back of the actual uh, bureau itself. That's really neat, actually. I didn't expect that. Nice little feature. And of course, lots of people do look at the back of furniture rather than just the front because people like to glitch things together and come up with some really interesting ideas. So no doubt having actual bat wing sort of shapes could be quite useful to create some cool looking designs. I have no idea. I'm not that good at designing stuff myself. So one of the things with a bureau I always uh, find in real life is, um, you know, trying to open it. And as you can see, it is actually openable. That's one of the highlights of this. I think it is one of the most adorable things I've seen. It really is. Interactions with furniture is top of my list for sure. And this one does not disappoint. I can't believe I've left it till this point to actually look at it. I really am very apologetic for that, but it opens up. There's no real sound effect for that opening, sadly. I was expecting it. But you've got a little drawing space here or, uh, you know, writing your love letters, that sort of thing. You've got some letters over here look with wax on them the little drawers here to store all of your lovely little stuff and inkwell look that's where the inkwell goes got like a candle and some stamps look to put your wax strips on there's uh, the wax itself to melt on a spoon basically you get that wax you melt it on a spoon over the top of a candle and then you use the stamp uh, basically the um the seal item and then you create a wax seal. This is really, really lovely attention to detail, isn't it? The spoon, the wax strips, the, you know, the actual crest making thing, the actual letters over here, the envelopes, and then the books as well. And the little desk area. This is very, very cute. And I love the way that this moves. I'm a massive sucker for, uh, for moving furniture. And this is really, really quite exceptional. I think this is going to be a really welcome addition to anybody who's going for a Moogle themed house and... Honestly, I mean, there's plenty of people that do love Moogles in this, and there's some people that are going to watch this video going, oh my goodness, I need this now. So it's not actually that difficult to craft. It looks pretty good in a, a variety of places. Obviously, you want to snap to grid against a wall or something. I don't know. 
they're all due for now. And then you just get a desk, wouldn't you? A seat, rather. And sit there and uh, while you're away. Can actually, can the mug, can the mug seat sit here? Uh, it's going to be a bit awkward to sit on the edge of a mug seat, isn't it? To uh, to write your your stories or like memoirs or whatever. So the other item then I said we'd look at is the cocoon shelf. Now there is a lack of cocoon themed furnishings, so maybe this is the start of something beautiful we could do with more cocoon themed items, furniture and wallpaper and the rest of it. it says discerned in cocoon motif in an in a cocoon motif rather. This wooden shelf is as charming as it is practical. So this is the other shelf of a bureau type thingy in 5.55. And it's adorable. Look at that. Oh my god. So it's very similar to the Monkey Bureau. The Mog Bureau. This is adorable, isn't it? It really does look like one of the cocoon. It's 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 a different look for certain. Let's turn off snapped grid there. I don't like that. So it's got a, a bunch of drawers with like stitching on them and buttons made out of wood, obviously, to give that sort of stuffed cocoon kind of thing. We've got a shelf up here that we can place items on, presumably curved edges around there that coil around like scroll legs and then at the back we've got this sort of fluff area for some reason that that's quite cute yeah i love the stripes here as well this motif here though this just makes me wish that we had serpent of ronka furniture lots more of it and you know a bed like can you imagine a ronka bed my goodness we need that i don't think this has any special interactions no i don't believe there is is there no so this is fairly substandard in terms of that. Of course, you can place items on this, I think. Let's put that to the test. I think we've got a tabletop item over here, haven't we? There we go. Let's see if we can put this Moogle up here. So we can put the Moogle up there, but it's going to have a bit of a problem with the back of it. This shelf is a little bit awkward, but of course, smaller items are going to look better. And of course, you some of the even smaller items you'll be able to put up here. So that demonstrates that you can put things on this shelf. Uh, it's just, of course, if you put something too big, it's going to clip through. In this case, the pom-pom, <laughs> which is quite cute, actually. I quite like that. But you can also put them on the edge there. I believe there's also this surface as well, yes. So that might be another option for you, the third sort of level of this uh, particular shelf here. It looks like it's been pull pulled out. Like, a, Yeah, it's been removed basically maybe if this pushes flat against it in the idea of you know for rp reasons in the design it looks pretty good it looks pretty good one thing we didn't test actually move this over with a mog burrow can you do exactly the same thing this is why we're here to to show things that cannot necessarily be done in furniture preview and this is certainly one of them okay that's interesting hold on so we can interact with this and open it up so is that now a solid shelf? No, but we can put stuff in here if we wanted to. And we can also put stuff on the top. Oh, that's really cool. So we can put a Moogle on top of the Moogle Bureau. <laughs> I like that a lot. That's really cute, actually. You can have one this way and one that side. And if you wanted to, if you had an even smaller little thing, you could place it there. That, even that looks quite cute, doesn't it? right on the edge of where where you can physically place items very nice always like this but of course you cannot place something on the actual open drawer because it's an animated drawer which is unfortunate of course you can't place on the top of a cocoon shelf either only on the actual shelves all three of those so that's worth looking at the other thing to look at then is obviously furnishing color uh, the mock bureau is of course dyeable let's have a look at some of those basic dyes this does dye the natural wood on the outside and not the pink inlay and of course certainly not a green table uh, outlined there so bear that in mind that looks really good black but i don't know how many um you know times you've seen i uh, like for example have we seen a, a bright red moogle yet i don't know but it, it does look cute doesn't it Oh, the pink one's nice. It looks really good in a, a good range of colours. But they, even the bright colours kind of suit this perfectly, don't they? Nice low brown colours to match with whatever scenery you have around it. Yeah, really good wood grain colours. Not too horrible wood grain either. It's quite a nice wood grain. And you've got those bat wings on the back, of course, to uh, to bear in mind. I quite like the pink, though. I am a, I am a sucker for pink by the looks of it. Very cool. And then, of course, we've got the cocoon shelf as well. 
uh, which naturally comes like that in this sort of biscuit color. And then we can try this. What does that look like in black? That looks cool, actually. Kind of like a bumblebee. It's got <laughs> yellow and uh, black there. That's, there's a bumblebee. <laughs> We've got ourselves some bright reds and stuff. This dies quite well as well. It looks kind of like something you would put in a kid's room, you know, ultimately. I do like this, though. Both of these items are exceptional, and I'm happy they're in the game. I can't believe it left it until this point but again once there's lots of things in a patch it takes me a long time to get through everything and i'm currently working on a lot of other videos behind the scenes as well that do take a long time and we did all 17 resistance weapons and the rest of it but there we go let me know what you think about these items if this has actually helped scratch an itch to any of your questions especially in terms of item placement on these things i mean a lot of you know, the, the furnishing preview certainly doesn't let you have a look at what it looks like with a Moogle on top of your bureaus. But there we go. Much love. Enjoy the rest of your day. Be sure to check me out on twitch.tv forward slash Mioni for weekly streams. Um, nearly, nearly daily now, like five days a week. And uh, I'll see you there. Much love. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.